Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Today we are gonna be doing a tutorial on downloading free fonts on this iPad mini. These steps will work on any iPad. So if that's something that you're interested in, let's get into it. Now the fonts that we're downloading today are for personal use. That means you can use them in GoodNotes on your planner and in your journal, but you cannot use them on anything that you are planning on sale. Now let's go to the app store and you're gonna to wanna to search for the app iFont and download it. Once iPhone is downloaded, you're gonna select open. Over here on this right hand side, you have a list of all the font websites that you can download your fonts from. At the top, this open files, this is what you would use if you were to purchase a font on Etsy or wherever a paid website for fonts. Once you download it, you can access it through this app in the open files. I'm gonna to go to Google Fonts first because that's where I found my favorite font, Hanley. Most of the other fonts that I've used come from Defont. That's my favorite site to download fonts from. So now I'm gonna go in and when you first bring up Defont, it gives you a list of the most recent fonts that have been added to the site. On the font, you can search for your fonts by the name if you know the name of a particular font that you want to use and you can also search by category. I selected themes and in themes the one that I use the most would be script. I like for my fonts to look like either calligraphy or for it to be handwritten which looks more like a realistic handwriting. I'm going to look at some of the handwritten fonts and pick a few out to download onto my iPad mini. Once you find a font that you wanna download, you're gonna select download, and then you'll get a pop-up box. At the bottom of the pop-up box, you'll have two choices. The first one you can import and continue browsing, and the second one is to import. Well, if you wanna look for more fonts, you wanna select import and continue browsing. If you come to a font that has multiple items to download like this one, you wanna make sure that you're only downloading the font. All the rest you don't need. Like there's one that says check out my store and then another like terms of use. You don't have to download the, those. Only thing you wanna download is the font itself. So I'm gonna uncheck those. And when you've selected all of the fonts that you wanna download in the download pop-up box, you're just gonna select import instead of import and continue browsing. You select import it's going to take you to your imported fonts section here you can see a list of all the fonts that you've selected for download if you check the circle with the check mark in the top right corner it will select all of the fonts and you can download them all at one time now you're going to select import at the bottom left this pop-up is just letting you know that you're doing a bulk install so you want to select continue in this pop-up you want to select next You want to allow the download. Once you've allowed the download, now you'll need to go to your settings to finish the process. This next pop-up box will take you to your settings. So you wanna select open settings. And when your settings open, you wanna to go to profile downloaded. Profile downloaded will be on the left-hand side towards the top. Once you've selected profile downloaded, you'll get a pop-up to install the fonts that you have downloaded. You wanna select install. You're gonna enter your passcode here, I'll be right back. And now you're gonna select install two more times and the download process will be complete. Now when you go to GoodNotes, your fonts are ready to use. I'm gonna go in GoodNotes and show you how to access your fonts you've downloaded. So once you've opened the GoodNotes app, you wanna make sure that you select the text tool from the toolbar. Now, if you go over to the list of your fonts, you can use the drop down to search for your font. You can type in the name of the fonts in the search toolbar and pull up, pull them up that way, or you can scroll through the list and find the fonts. I'm gonna search a few of the fonts I downloaded so you can see them in GoodNotes. We're gonna start with Hanley. 
And just a reminder, remember when you change your fonts in GoodNotes, you want to go back to the text tool and save it as your default. If you don't save it as your default, every time that you use your text and you stop writing, it's going to convert back to whatever that text was you changed it from. So make sure it's saved as your default if that's the text that you want to continue to use. Now I'm going to search for the font handy stuff I downloaded. And the last one I'm going to look for is coffee and crafts. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, y'all till next time.